Tonight, a WBZ exclusive. The I-Team has uncovered video of an MBTA bus involved in a hit-and-run crash. It's a mistake that caused a horrific collision and left a Boston man with devastating injuries. The I-Team's Ryan Kath speaks with the victim and explains why a decision by leaders at the T could now end up costing taxpayers big. Coming up Dorchester Ave, heading south. You're watching surveillance video the I-Team obtained from an MBTA bus. The driver moments away from finishing her shift on a Sunday morning in December 2015. I see the bus coming from the other direction. But watch what happens next. In the last minute, she just cut right in front of me. I tried to stop and just couldn't. It was just too sudden. Mark Delaney was the man on the motorcycle. Oh, my gosh. He and his wife, Shirley, had never seen the video until this moment. Oh, my gosh. Looks like I almost made it. <laughs> I didn't make it. That's not easy to look at. The emotion still raw, reminding Shirley of the frantic call she got while Mark was laying in the middle of Dorchester Ave. And all of a sudden, he screams as loud as he could. I've never heard a screech like that. And I just thought, this is it. I I'm going to lose my leg. But after five surgeries... This is where the bone broke through. A metal plate and more than a dozen screws, doctors saved Mark's leg. I'm still kicking. <laughs> but through his grueling recovery, there is one image Mark can't escape. And I'm looking, and the bus just drove away. I'm like, oh, you're kidding me. Video shows the driver never stopped, continuing into the T's Cabot bus yard and parking a significant distance from the accident scene. Watch as she casually gathers her stuff, walks to the spot where Mark collided with the bus, and then leaves. Police later cited the driver with several violations, and the T eventually fired her. It was a nightmare that I never thought I'd wake up from. Earlier this year, Mark and Shirley thought they'd put the nightmare behind them and agreed to an offer of $900,000. But then an unexpected surprise. Leaders at the T decided not to settle the case. It was just a slap in the face. and I think I've been put through enough. I think this is a case that could be well over double or triple what was on the table. The I-Team showed the video to personal injury attorney Rick Weiner. He's shocked that he could let this case with the damaging video potentially be decided by a jury. That's a big mistake that they're making. They're gambling with the taxpayer money, and it's, it's not a wise business decision. I thought I was angry before. The Dorchester couple now preparing for what could be a lengthy legal battle. What is justice in your case? Going forward, I own this injury for the rest of my life. And I just don't see them accepting any responsibility here. And, and, and to me, that's the justice I need, is I need the, the MBTA to own this. A spokesman at the T told me the agency doesn't comment on pending litigation. But the I-Team discovered the T is using an outside law firm. So fighting this lawsuit will also come at an added expense to taxpayers. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.